Hello, I'm Arden. I'm currently in Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh, and I was asked to share how God's character has been revealed to me in 2022. So I think overall, for me, 2022 has largely felt like a year of waiting. I learned in January that I would be going out here to Bangladesh at some point to help the nonprofit Groundwater Relief drill some wells for a groundwater supply project um, at a Rohingya refugee camp here. And I originally thought that it would be in April, and then that turned into June, and then August, and eventually I finally left in early November. But for much of the year, I didn't know if I would be leaving in weeks or in months. Um, and so it felt like this period of waiting, this period where I was quite impatient and just ready to fast forward and move on to this big trip that I've been dreaming of doing something like this for a long time. And what I eventually saw in God's character is that even in the midst of my own impatience and my own expectations, um, God has beauty and God is growing things. God is planting roots. I was able to love my community more, build and grow relationships and grow grow a lot myself during that period of my own impatience. And then I think this whole period in Bangladesh, the past two months has just been such a, a beautiful experience of seeing God's character everywhere in, in a new light. Um, the, the people here both in and outside of the camps are so generous and so open-hearted and have been just so welcoming and kind to me. Um, within the camps, the Rohingya people have been in this period of waiting for five years. There's a genocide against the Rohingya minority, a predominantly Muslim minority in Myanmar. And they've had to live in these camps in, in Bangladesh for the past five years, not knowing when it will be safe to go home and often feeling like there's no end in sight. And they can't leave the camps except for to do some local work if they can find a job. But most people are just sitting there without jobs, without the possibility of leaving, just waiting. And in the midst of these conditions, um, God shows me that we are strong. God inspires us to be resilient and, and to find meaning, um, even in the midst of what feels like nothing. I've, I've met people within the camps who, you know, put love into decorating their cafes or into their day-to-day -day work. I've met people having babies, getting married. Life goes on, even when there's a big question mark about what it will look like a year out from now, several years out from now, and a question of if there will be, be freedom and safety. Um, God still gives us strength to find hope, find meaning, um, and that's beautiful. It, it hasn't been an entirely easy experience for me out here. I am getting over my fourth round of food poisoning that I've had since I arrived, um, but doing A-OK. -okay. And we just, I think tomorrow, are able to turn in the papers and say that we successfully completed a extremely productive well um, that'll be used to supply an area that has limited clean water. So I'm feeling very good about that. And I'll be home on January 3rd. And so it's bittersweet to leave such a beautiful country, but I'm so excited to get to be home and to see all of your beautiful faces. Thank you and Happy New Year.